This video is sponsored by Single Point Solution. Single Point is pioneer in production and distribution of electric vehicles like electric bikes, electric scooters and three-wheelers. Single Point also provide consulting services to small F players. Hello friends, this is Chandrakant from Akul Mac Technologies. Welcome to uh, this edition of Wednesday on Top Brass. Before I start the discussion today, in fact, we would like to discuss something very, very related to business. And uh, to do that, let me first introduce my friend from London, Mr. Neville Gunn. Good morning, CK. Good morning, everybody. It's a pretty dull day today in the UK. And... Um, there's this COVID thing that's going on, but we don't want to talk about that. That's far too negative. We want to talk about something that's really positive and really could get you moving ahead and get you very motivated. So what do you think the subject might be today? Well, I think it's a dull uh, morning here as well, uh, Neville, because we are going through cyclones and a lot of rain. Uh, it's as gloomy as, uh, you know, when you see the rains in London. So since past two days, we have not seen the sun, so it's as gloomy. But I think what we should talk about is something related to the media. And why I'm picking up this media as a subject, because if you look at the channels, they're all running behind their ratings. I'm at the top and you know I'm number one. And if you're number two, you're nowhere. So I think the same thing is happening in our business where people are trying to get into that top slot. And uh, to do, to reach that top slot, they are willing to do anything. And uh, it is very important for us to discuss the feedback, you know, what the feedback mechanism is there in the corporate circle. I think I leave it, uh, I leave the floor open uh, to discuss about these aspects. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, we, we talk about collaboration and working together in a community and all of these wonderful joint phrases and COVID has brought us all together. We're all in it together. And yet the, the bottom line for most people is I want to be number one. I'm important. No one else is important. And the media probably, in my view, it actually supports that type of approach. But let's look at this slightly different. If we really are looking at growth and we really are looking at building stronger communities, we need to start be giving people this wonderful word that's used a lot in business, but very <laughs> normally quite misunderstood. And it's this word called feedback. Feedback. Well, I'm giving you feedback. Okay, well... I well, don't particularly want feedback. Thanks very much. <laughs> you know, I'm quite happy where I am. Um, but what's the purpose of feedback? What do you th what do you think the purpose of feedback is, CK? In very simple terms, why do we give feedback to somebody? Why do you want feedback from somebody? Yeah, well, I think uh, feedback is very important for me, and I need feedback to correct my course of action probably correct my own personality and also the steps that I'm going to take in the next six months or so. It's absolutely critical for me to know exactly what people are thinking about me and my activities. And that's a brilliant response because it's, it's, it's very personal. It's, it's helped me improve. And because we have this inner drive to be the best we can be. Some people suppress that drive but the, a lot of people actually just spark it off a little bit. As you said, it's for you to get better. It's a correction. I mean, these were your words, really. It's correcting your activity, your actions, your behavior. And that's right. That's what it's there for. So you're probably always ready for feedback. Even, even if people don't realize they're giving it to you. They're just having a conversation. But the thing about having a conversation is there is a tremendous amount of feedback in that conversation. So if it start, if the conversation grows and is more interactive, that's pretty good feedback, isn't it? You know, you're, you're feeling that it's going somewhere. 
the other person is offering more because they believe it's going somewhere. And we, as humans, we thrive on that. We love it. You know, when you think about a baby when they first start to walk, the feedback they get from the adults around them turns a cry when they're fallen over into a smile to say, I'm going to take another go. I'm going to have another go. And we've all got it in us, you know. We're all born very, very similar, you know, two arms, two legs, two eyes, etc., etc. And it's about time we started to use it. So let's talk a little bit more about what's the purpose of feedback. Now, you've made it very personal. It's so you can correct yourself. And that actually is the purpose of someone giving you feedback. It's for you. It's not for them. I, I, I often say, when you write an email, who's it for? And people will say, well, for me. And I say, well, really? Then why are you writing the email? Because it's for the person you're sending it to. So you have to think, how do they want to see it? Why would they want to see it? How would they want to receive it? And we said we should do the same with feedback. Don't you think? Yeah, well, let me share uh, some experience, personal experience, which I had yesterday. There was a person who reached out to me yesterday on social media. I don't know the person. I simply looked at the profile. I accepted the request. And after some time, you know, after 10 minutes, she writes to me, hey, what do you do? I said, we do X, Y, Z. And then she said, uh, okay, we are looking for uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, we have a story where we give the successful entrepreneurs uh, sustained income. So I said, fair enough. But you know, <laughs> uh, me, 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 I wanted to give some feedback. So I said, oh, I just wrote a few lines, a few words saying, oh, the same old story. And with this three words or four words, she felt so offended. She said, uh, you are, uh, she wrote names, the next very message. I don't know the person. We got to know only 10 minutes back. She wrote names and she said, uh, I said, anyway, tell me what you, what you have. No, I don't want to share uh, with everybody. So thank you very much. <laughs> this is a real thing which happened yesterday on social media within a matter of 30 minutes. This person reached out to me looking at my profile and I asked her just three word question. She retracted and went back and no patience to even get the three word feedback. It's, it's really interesting because um, you, you've brought in another word that's coming to my mind about relationships and building relationships and how important that is to build the relationship. And we always forget, actually, that relationship building relies on feedback. It relies upon communication, but it's the type of communication, you know. So there's, um, there's a really good um, interview that's going around currently. Um, it was uh, done by Richard Branson, part of the Virgin Entrepreneurs Arena. And of all people, they brought on Simon Sinek and they, he interviewed Simon Sinek. It's a short interview. Um, we should send people the link, really. And uh, this is all about entrepreneurship, you know, and entrepreneurship is finding a solution to one of today's problems, not finding a solution and then finding out where the problem is, you know, that that's not entrepreneurship. You know, that's, to me, that's a bit of innovation that isn't very smart. Because unless you've got a problem, no one's going to want the solution. Anyway, he said, OK, I'm going to start it off, he said, and I'm, and I'm going to ask the first question. Um, what, what solution would you bring to the table to solve one of today's problems? In other words, what's the biggest problem of today? And... Simon Sinek clearly wasn't prepared for this type of question. So it's really good the way, look at this video. We're going to share this video with them. Look at the way of, um, a, a really good thinker starts to answer the question. 
And they build time into the answer because the brain can think while the, while the voice is speaking. And if you look at what he does, that's exactly what happens. But the interesting thing is he comes up with an answer, which i be honest with you, I was shocked. He said, what we suffer from today is the fact that we don't build relationships. We're not very good at making relationships. Despite the fact we're human beings, and that's what we're born to do, we're not very good at it. So if I were running a business today, I would actually look at solving that problem and building a, somewhere where people can communicate freely and openly. He didn't use the word feedback, but he used the word relationship and communication. And interestingly enough, communication is the number one STEM skill. It's the number one interpersonal skill that everyone says you should be building. So was his answer new? No. Was it innovative? No. But will people listen to it? Yes. And why will they listen to it? Because Richard Branson asked the question and Simon Sinek answered it. And this is about influence. Now, two of the biggest influences in the world, certainly in the Western world, people will listen to it. And hopefully other people will start solving those problems. But it's about, it comes back to this relationship issue. How do I build the relationship issue? And, and you said on social media, someone found you. Now, in social media, you and I both know, you don't just find people. You look for them. And you see what they're saying, you know. It's almost like there's a stone out there and all you're doing is un picking the stone up and having a good look. And on social media, it's easier to do. If you see them on LinkedIn, you can Google them and find them on Twitter. I mean, even on LinkedIn, it says, look at this person's profile and it will show you a Twitter profile and it will show you if they got a, um, a Facebook page, if they got other social media, what are their um, main marketing? You know, it's just because LinkedIn platform is a huge platform. It's almost like a, a business in itself. So you don't have to look very far. But once they've made the, the thought was, I need to talk to that person, you would make an assumption that you need to drive the conversation. You're the questioner. You're the person that's found somebody else. So you need to be in that can-do attitude, the right mindset, where you're going to constantly ask questions of the other person. Have you thought of this? What do you do over here? What do you do? You know, it's a nice introduction, as you and I have always had. You know, what do you do? Who do you do it for? You know, is there anyone that we both know that you've done it for? You know, so you find some common ground. But all too often, you give someone feedback. You, you weren't ready for this request you know it was unsolicited really you weren't asking i mean maybe because you're on social media there is this i'm here to be asked um okay fine but it's still up to the person that's making the first step to build the relationship to make that engagement and all too often this feedback you get initially may not be what you want to hear but but that's okay then ask another question so that you get the feedback you do want to hear and like anything else i mean have you said anything different to many people when they're on linkedin no i mean there are thousands of people that that come on to me and they say, I'd like to connect with you. Okay, well, let's connect. And then you get a diatribe of, we do SEO, we do this, we do apps, we've done this, 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 this. Okay, well, thanks for that. Do you want any? Well, no, not really. But why didn't you ask that first? Because then it would have, <laughs> oh, it would have saved my behavioral waste of thinking what you do, you know? So we've lost this art of networking. We started this conversation with a, a bit about feedback, you know, 
and we've we've shot into networking, relationships, communication. But it all based is based upon how good is the feedback? How good is it for you, for me? Our conversation here is about a conversation, but it's feedback on what's being said, what's being listened to. Is it interesting? Is it not interesting? So I find this absolutely fascinating. And for all those people on social media that do find somebody, drive the conversation. Control it for the other person. You know, you're the one that's opened up the dialogue. So if you come to me, I expect you to drive the dialogue. I expect you to show an interest in me because you did show an interest in me at the beginning. And just because I'm not really interested in your first response, it doesn't mean to say that all the time that you started to find me is wasted. But if that's your sole purpose, then get to the question quickly and move on. You know, we have this phrase, um, you know, just throwing it all at a blanket. Some of it will stick, you know, and uh, good luck. If that's the way <laughs> you want to do it, then you will need a lot of luck because you're going to have to hit the recipient at the right time, just at the moment that they're making a decision or going through the thought process of doing what you've got to offer. And that isn't business, you know, that's rolling the dice. And there's far better ways of building businesses, improving yourself than rolling the dice. Big subject today, CK. Yes, uh, Neville. In fact, uh, when we were uh, working uh, in the corporate sector, uh, there was no way we could have gone and sold, even though there is a branding image behind the solution offering. Uh, but there was no way that you can go and say, hey, I'm representing this brand, so I have a ready business. I don't think that was an assumption. So I'm failing to understand when you're not even a brand, what is driving people's ego? You know, you you have reached out to a person because you obviously you want to grow. You want some business out of that person uh, or you want to collaborate, you know. Uh, I was talking to uh, another person um, in the industry and she started telling me that the collaboration is such an abused word now because, you know, somebody calls and hey, I want to collaborate without thinking about it. So I think uh, uh, people don't have any business sense at all and they don't want to get into any feedback. So to answer your question uh, in a holistic manner, I would say I meet about 90% people every day who do not have business sense simply because they don't have any feedback built in, in, in their mind or strategy. So that is why uh, even if they have to correct uh, their course, there is no input uh, into their strategy. Or even if input is uh, happening, it may happen very slowly by the time they realize, uh, you know, water has already flown. So I think, uh, I think the first mantra of business today should be people should get you know, a little calm and uh, get into the real sense of business and get uh, understanding what they want to do. As you say, several times you have spoken uh, in our programs level, like what is the purpose? If you have connected with a person, what is your purpose? So as you say, spell out your purpose as a first uh, instant. That is why people say advertising, you know, where you don't have to pick phone of everyone you just advertise. Whoever is interested will come. It's a, it's a full uh, mechanism. But if you're pushing yourself, you'd rather be straight. I think that's the feedback I would like to give to the audience today. Yeah, and as you say, you've used the word again, feedback to the audience. I mean, this is about, you know, offering some thought process so that you can be better. And... There is this, there is this mechanism, and it, and it's done in call in um, in call centres, and whether you like it or not, it works. There's a script that these people have. The really good call centre people, 
the outbound call centers, the ones that call you up and say, I'm, I'm calling you, I'm not calling you to sell anything. Well, immediately, that's the phone down as far as I'm concerned, because they are calling to sell you something. So these script writers that are out there that have done this, it's never going to work. Not for me, but the point is it works for some people, and this is rolling the dice. So they've created a script where if you roll the dice often enough, you will get a few takers. So there is this thing within the call center arena that if you make 120 calls a day, you're going to be successful. Now, that's just one metric, 120 calls a day. It doesn't talk about the quality of the call, how long the call was, the interaction of the call. But these people know that if you're making 120 calls a day, you are going to be successful because you're rolling the dice and you're improving your script. The point about making 120 calls a day is you're becoming resilient as well. So if someone hangs it up, hangs up the phone, so what? There's always another one to call. And that's the way really good call center people work. They become resilient and they run through a script, but it's the script that they've slightly adapted that works for them. And, and it's all on, you, you've done this, I've done this. When you call someone completely cold, you really want that other person to start talking so that you can understand them, get a feel for who they are. You can't see them, but just by the way they speak, you can get an impression of them. And we all rely upon that as human beings. You know, and once someone else starts to speak, then you know you've got great feedback. Absolutely, Neville. In fact, uh, uh, when you go in a face-to-face -face me uh, meeting, you, this is exactly what you're looking at as the other person. You know, you're talking, but you're trying to judge the other person. You know, what that person, is he raising an eyebrow? Uh, what keywords he's listening to? Yep. I think that is very, very critical. A feedback is very critical. So that is why I fail to understand why people today not following these best practices. Because they don't know them. They've never been taught them, you know. Um, we're, the, the whole issue of education is a completely different subject, as you well know. But we're taught at, at, at school and at university, we're taught how to pass exams. We're taught how to be technically competent. But our interpersonal skills, you know, going back to this Richard Branson and Simon Sinek interview, you know, what problem would you solve today? Simon Sinek says relationships, communication. We're not taught how to build relationships. We're not taught how to communicate with each other. And the reason for that is it's assumed it happens. We know it's important. Everybody knows it's important, you know, because if I stop communicating with you by, by stopping speaking, I'm hardly going to get a message over, am I? You know, if I stop speaking. So communication is incredibly important. And Simon Sinek says we need to solve the problem of relationships and communication. So we now know it's a problem. Some of the most influential people in the world, one asked the question, the other one answered it. They're telling us it's a problem and it needs to be solved. And that's the answer to your question is because people don't know. They may have read the books that says it. They may have seen all of these brilliant TED Talks or some of our, you know, communication, our, our webinars, our videos, our vlogs, whatever we want to call them online, that reinforces the message time and time and time again. The problem is they've never done anything about it. And I'm going to go back to when I asked you the question at the beginning and said, 
what's the purpose, very simply, of feedback. And you said to change your actions. Action. That's what it's all about. We don't know how to behave. We don't know how to act. Now, there's going to be a lot of people and saying, you're talking rubbish, Neville. I know how to act. Okay. You may do, but do you do it all the time? Have you sent an email on to someone on LinkedIn and got a response and then you don't know how to act? In fact, your actions have been incredibly negative. So it's hardly building a relationship, is it? And the other thing is I'm not perfect either. You know, I make mistakes all the way along. You know, sometimes I'm too busy and I'll quickly rattle off something. Um, and actually, I sh probably should have taken a bit more time because that relationship might have been the one that would have been really important. And doing what I do, I don't like to damage relationships, but we do it all the time, unfortunately. It's, it, we're human beings. But answering your question simply, we've never been taught how to do it. We've never taken the time to practice doing it. But now, hopefully, having listened to what we've been saying here, is that now is your time. Go and practice. Yeah, thank you, Neville. Uh, in fact, uh, you, uh, your narration and your knowledge has really opened up the minds of a lot of people. And uh, there are more to it because, you know, this is just a few minutes of a video. There are many situations which requires a lot of hand holding. So if people want to reach out to us, uh, you know, we have uh, Neville uh, Boon as one of the top leading influencers globally recognized. And uh, viewers, uh, if you want to take help from Neville, please reach out to us. We can arrange that session for you. Uh, but in the end, I would like to say that feedback is absolutely important for anyone. Even negative feedback is absolutely important. It is not that you need to discard and to leverage any sort of feedback, you do reach out to us. We will arrange a one-on-one -on -one session with Neville and, uh, you know, it will benefit you a lot in your business or in your day-to-day -day work of life. So thank you, Neville. We will catch up again tomorrow. Thanks, CK. Have a good day, everybody. And look up at the sun and smile. Give yourself some feedback. Cheers, Neville. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.